Welcome back. So now you either have WebStorm or maybe Visual Studio Code or some IDE installed. Uh, remember, WebStorm is only a 30-day free trial, but it also you can get student licenses and stuff like that if you are actually a student and want to use this. Um, I use it because I like the integrated terminal because that works on both Mac and Windows. And that's a huge help for me when I want to teach you guys this. But again, there are other ones out there like Visual Studio Code, uh, Visual Studio Community, uh, so many other tools that you can use. But again, I'm going to use WebStorm. Figure out what you want to use. Node.js, you also need to have that installed. And again, go and try and grab the newest version. If you have one already, go and uninstall the one you have and install a new version maybe if you want to get up to speed with whatever uh, is the newest guy out there. And Node.js also keeps evolving, so get one of the newest versions. I normally use the LTS because I feel they are most, they are safest to use since they don't have the newest features in there, so they're more reliable. Now what we need to do is install the Angular CLI right here. So let's try and go to our WebStorm. So what we'll do is we'll go to WebStorm and we'll start out by opening the terminal. Now on the Mac, I do that by saying Command Shift A. And here I write Terminal, Terminal, and then it pops up here with the terminal like this. So you can also use this Alt and F12 if you want to. On Windows, it's Control Shift and A to open the terminal. And let's just open it right here on the Mac. Let's zoom out again. So here I have a terminal available now. And right now I'm in my current project. But you need to be in your wherever folder you want to be, right? So it might be on the C drive, but I always encourage to make me make a work folder or something like that. That's what I've done. I've made a work folder on the C drive. I want to install my Angular CLI now. So I'll do an npm install dash g at angular front slash CLI, right? Let's try and go into the getting started right here actually, because then we'll look at GitHub and I can copy paste that huge line instead of just writing it manually. So notice here is how we can do an install if you guys haven't touched the CLI ever before. Very simple. But if you guys are actually, you already have an installed CLI, you can go down and you can actually find here how we can update Angular CLI by first uninstalling it and then reinstalling it. But remember to clear the cache. Right now in my case, I'm just going to run this guy to get the latest version of the CLI into my application. So I go into my WebStorm and I fire this command just to get the newest CLI of Angular. Now remember the CLI is a command line interface, meaning that we can start running different commands to start creating Angular application from scratch. We can also create new components, we can create specific classes inside our Angular application just by running simple commands. Right now the version of Angular CLI is at 1.0.0, so you should be there as well at least for your um, tool right now.